after playing a pair of games here at the Houston Fieldhouse in scrimmage and exhibition play, respectively. Chair pack the save, meanwhile. He'll hang on on the chance from the near side the wall. Pass that sent low of the goal as Union looks for their shooting lane. Pass in front was looking for Smedsrud, and that one's cleared all the way down as Brad McNeil got a piece. Along yeah. the near side wall, Burchette keeps it moving. Pass to the middle. Mazzotti lays out. Was gonna that happened the day after. Penalty coming up. It's going to be on the Engineers again. They'll go to their kill for the second time. Shot from the line got bunted down by Lori Surdy. A whistle and a call with 10.41 to go, and Union will go back to the power play for now the second time. Seen in just over 24 hours' time. Prokop, Smedsrud one-timer, saved by Cherpak. The rebound swept free. Picked up. Now this way for Nixon, sending a pass in front. Save! Cherpak grabs the rebound as well. Puck is still loose. Pulled free by Nixon. Back and the puck is turned over. Here come the Engineers on a two-on-two -two rush shorthanded. Led by Tinling, who pops it through a defender's legs to the backhand. Sent in front and a kick save made by Chavez. But swept with four-on-four. Four. We'll play that way no matter what. Shot by Prokop. He scores. A quick passing play from low to high finds John Prokop available in the slot. And the visiting Garnet Chargers have struck first. To the near side wall taken away by Gagneau. One timer, Nikon and save. Rebound to the point, and it goes just wide. First player out on the ice in the defensive end for pretty much any major situation for this group, and he's quarterbacking this unit here. Meanwhile, pass in front, they score. Brandon Bure parked himself in front, and now some pushing and shoving in front of Cherapak's net that's still going on. The Garnet Chargers pull themselves free. Brandon Bure, the power play strike, and Union takes a 2-0 lead. Well, that was because after Burr put the puck in the net on a nice feed, he got kind of hammered, and he didn't go down the first time, and then they hit him the second time. Here's another look at it. Nice feed from behind the net. Stick on the ice, five hole in between Cherapak's pads. That pass is picked off. The play remains on sides. Looking for the trailing. Buer. one more. They score. Tick, tack, and goal. Buer has his second on the beautiful feed from Hanley. And the Garnet Chargers up a three spot here in Troy. Well, that was just a great play. I was wondering if they were going to, the referee got down. It looked like it might have come outside the line. But it was real close, but just a tick-tack-toe play. And, of course, Smedrud getting the assist on that one as well. Kyle Chauvet, four of four in his cage on his day so far. And Carson Cherpak, nine of 12. Is Cherpak in the net to our left? Engineers going from left to right. Brief dip on the power play after skating four on four. Pass to the middle, Gagno, and a save by. Taking over the line, here is Hudson with a burst of speed. Sharp angle shot, saved by Chauvet. He's got it with no rebound, so 34 seconds remaining on the penalty. It was the engineer's bench, absorbs the hit from Agnew and sends it in deep. Kodzi backhanded in front, that puck was loose. Cleared back out to center, now a race for the puck. In on goal to the backhand, and a save made by Cherpak on the chance from Brandon Bure as he bid for the All three goals in this one coming in the opening period as Watkins goes wide, shoots on goal, Cherpak the glove save. He'll hang on and take a face off with now 7.32 to go here in the second period. Stepping in is Eamonen. Wheeling away from pressure. Nixon, one more. They score. Well, another tic-tac goal for the visiting Garnet Chargers. This time around, it is Ethan Benz who slams it home, and it's 4-0 Union. Well, that was just a great play by that line of Eamonen, Nixon. For and the puck that was won by Nick Young, but poked free. Away from Jeanette. Lee centers a pass in front, was looking for Hotson. Did not connect on that one. Now, three blocks. Ended up having the puck knock free. RPI will regroup quickly. Here is Burchette looking for a pass. He's got one, and they score! Sutter Mazzotti breaks the ice for the home squad, and the Engineers are on the board. Well, that happened in the neutral zone where there was a turnover by Union. They've had the possession of the puck a couple of times. And Bruchette just makes a great pass over to Mazzotti, who was coming in late. And it was a wide open net for him to put that puck in. And so 
Gagno gets the secondary. Engineers looking for more. That one rolls just wide. On his backhand, it's knocked off of his stick, however, and taken back through center. Near side, Villegas drops to the trailing. Hanley, who jumps over an oncoming engineer who was diving, that was Hodson. Bit of chaos as that shot gets blocked on its way through. Hart pulled the trigger. He's got it again on the far side point, just over a minute to go. Ferguson with room to walk in. He shoots, and that one hit the post. Here comes RPI in a three on two. Tin Lang look to center a pass. Gagne finds it as the trailer he shoots. Knocked away, sent on goal again, looking for a deflection there. Right during the first game, and he scored a goal and was injured on the celebration after running into an official. Shot from the point gets blocked on its way through. Wheeling and shooting one again was Kodzi. He didn't get all the way through. Kodzi will pick it up off the near side wall. The trailing MacArthur shot block. Kodzi again loose in front score. Wow. You could almost feel that coming. Union just turned the notch up a couple of notches there. Hemmed RPI in. They had a couple of good opportunities that were blocked and then take another look at it here. Tough to tell which one it was. It was number 22, Jeanette. Yeah, it was Jeanette. Looks like Jeanette stuffs at home. For six games as Payant finds the trailer. Shooting there is Brackett. Saves Chavette. Rebound. And just as Brad McNeil was going for that rebound, he gets grabbed and headlocked and pulled out of the way as Payant was in there as well. Payant and Nixon as Payant throws a shove back at Nixon. Find Mazzotti. Here comes Mazzotti as Strom will jump in on the rush. A saucer pass. Knocked down on the defensive play. What a play there by Robertson to knock down that aerial feed. Going in alone. You know, I don't know if that warranted a penalty shot. Let's see. Well, the, that was at the last second, but he still got his shot away. Usually a penalty shot is called. Oh, he is. He's coming from the same side, too. Here is Jack Brackett in on Chavette to the backhand, and he stopped again. Knocked to the line where Jeanette, the most recent goal scorer, still maintains possession and shoots. Save chair pack. Smolinski fakes it. Smolinski again. Top of the point, walking inward. Here is Gagneau. He shoots. Saved by Chavet. He's got the... McNeil for Brackett. Tried to send a pass in front. It got blocked on its way there as Robertson was back, back checking. Swept out at the line and kept in by Lori Surdy. Bruschetta centering pass was looking there for Brackett, didn't connect. And by Villegas and a nice play on the back check as Mazzotti pokes it free. Here's Sutter Mazzotti, drags and shoots. He put it just high. Oh boy, the patience of Sutter Mazzotti on display there as Ardenaz will walk the line. And shoot, deflected, saved by Chavet. Rebound, he's got that and one now too. now it's Heidemann spinning away from trouble. To the line, it's Mata shooting through a screen, blocked on its way through. And tried to knife his way through the defenders. It was Ardenaz and Mata paired together. That one rolled in on chair pack briefly. He handled that one, wheeling and, and shooting. Here comes it. RPI. Two on two with a couple of trailers and a big hit. In the middle of the offensive end, Gagneau still in possession, looking back door. Sardi quickly across, one-timer. That one missed the net high and wide. Sullivan leads for the trailing Smolinski, who will jump in on the offense. Finding Sullivan once more. Sent on goal, Chavette the save. We go with, sent to the line. A couple of new faces on the power play, one of which being the extra defender, that's Potter who took the shot, Joey Potter. Hanley near sidewall, there's your reason for the confusion. Backdoor feed looking for Vili Eminen on that near side post, didn't connect. They'll take on St. Lawrence and Clarkson respectively. Meanwhile, in a race for the puck. Stepping in on goal and shooting, saved by Chavet. For the trailer, it's knocked away from him. Hodson will step in with a burst of speed. Here is Hodson looking for Mazzotti to the backhand, saved by Chavet. The rebound rolls just wide. And Burchette.